Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear students. Now uh, we are in session number two extraction of editing methods from the pores. Extraction of methods means to make reduction process. While it's difficult to make reduction for editing methods, why? Because they have large size and easy to lose. So to return the electron back to their ions, it's difficult. But we can do that by uh, the electrolysis or by the effect of the electricity. So the method used to extract the alkyl metals by the electrolysis. What's meant by electrolysis? To make analysis by using the electricity of its molten. Repeat after me, molten, not solution. Molten means fused or melted uh, salt. You have a molten or fused halides in the presence of a flux. What's flux? Flux it is a substance used to decrease the melting point of the uh, compound. We have sodium chloride. When we electroly make electrolysis to it, it decomposes into sodium ion and chloride ion. Chloride ion, see, and negative, if you remember, it means chlorine atom gained an electron. While N M positive means a sodium atom that lost an electron. Chlorine, oh sorry, chloride, the ion, its name is chloride. It loses two electrons. We have here two chloride ions. They lose two electrons to form chlorine gas that evolves at the end. The atom is the positive pole. The two electrons are gained by the two sodium ions. Here, two NA positive plus two electrons to give NA. Here we have two NA atoms, it deposits at uh, the bottom of the cell. So we can extract sodium by this method. Now let's speak about commonly used sodium compounds. We have sodium hydroxide. Its formula is NaOH. Uh, its properties, it's a white hygroscopic. We have studied in sodium, uh, in sodium nitrate, it was deliquescent. What's meant by deliquescent? It is a substance that absorbs water vapor from the air. Also, hygroscopic solid matter means it extracts or it absorbs water vapor from the air. So we have two, two matter, sodium hydroxide and, and sodium nitrate, they, are, they have the ability to absorb water vapor. Sodium nitrate, it is uh, deliquescent, while sodium hydroxide is hygroscopic. It has a soapy touch, okay? And the corrosive effect on the skin, so it's difficult or it's not advised to treat with a concentrated solution of sodium hydroxide because it has a corrosive effect on the skin. It dissolves easily in water forming an alkaline solution through an exo exo exothermic equation or exothermic dissolution. So, if I ask you a question, if the temperature of water before dissolving sodium hydroxide it was 25, expect the temperature after dissolving sodium hydroxide. And he gives you four temperatures. The first, still 25. The second, 22. Uh, the third is 19. And the fourth is 35. Which one will you choose? 35. Excellent. Why? Because dissolving of sodium hydroxide is an exothermic process, so the temperature will increase. Excellent. It reacts, it is a base for alkaline, it reacts with acid. It is the reaction of neutralization forming salt and water. NaOH plus HCl, Na positive takes chloride negative, forming NaCl, H plus OH forming HCO, and so on. Let's speak about the use of sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide used in many important industries, such as soap, synthetic silk, synthetic silk, and paper. It's used to purify petroleum from the acidic impurities. Uh, sodium hydroxide is an alkaline. So it reacts with acids to remove the acidic impurities in petroleum. Detection of basic radicals or cations, such as copper. Now we have a copper solution. It is the copper hydroxide, and we will add some drops of sodium hydroxide later. We will add some drops of sodium hydroxide. Look what's happened. The first 
a second. Look carefully what's happened. What happens? Here we have a blue PBT is forming. When we add sodium hydroxide to copper solution, what's hap what happened? We have here a new PBT is forming. Now let's know what happened. Here we have copper hydroxide, copper sulfate reacts with sodium hydroxide. We have here copper hydroxide, which is a blue PBT. The blue PBT is copper hydroxide. If I ask you why a blue PBT is forming, due to the formation of copper hydroxide. Copper hydroxide, after heating, it changes into copper oxide. It has a black PBT. So when we heat it, it changes into black PBT and it becomes in a, in a, in a black color. The second cation we use uh, sodium hydroxide to detect it is aluminum, Al positive 3. What happens when we add detection of aluminium, salt solution of salt of aluminium plus sodium hydroxide solution. It gives a white BBT of aluminium hydroxide. Aluminium hydroxide when it dissolves in or when we add excess amount look carefully, I put carefully drops of sodium hydroxide, a white PBT will be forming like that. Here we have a white PBT is formed. If I added excess amount of sodium hydroxide, what happens? The PBT will disappear after that. Why the PBT will be disappeared? Due to the formation of a new substance which is soluble in water, its name is sodium beta aluminium. Where is the PBT? It is old. Why? Due to the formation of a new substance, its name is sodium beta aluminium. Again, aluminum chloride, salt of aluminum, reacts with sodium hydroxide, it gives aluminum hydroxide, white PBT. When we add aluminum hydroxide, we add excess amount of sodium hydroxide, the PBT will be removed due to the formation of soluble sodium beta aluminum. Look, here we have hydroxide and hydroxide. They are both of them, or they both of them contain hydroxide. Why they react together? If you remember in the chapter 2, in the first term, we have aluminum compounds or aluminum oxides are amphotelic. They react as acid and as base. So it can react with alkyls to form sodium beta aluminate, which is soluble. Okay? Finally, we have sodium carbonate Na2CO3. Uh, the preparation in the laboratory by passing the carbon dioxide gas in hot solution of sodium hydroxide. NaOH plus CO2, it gives sodium carbonate Na2CO3. Uh, the hydrated salt of sodium carbonate is known as washing soda. Na2CO3 and 10 molecules of water. Uh, because it's used in removing water hardness. What's meant by hardness of water? The water that contains excess ions of magnesium and calcium. As uh, water of uh, wells, uh, contains excess amount of calcium and magnesium. We use sodium carbonate to remove the excess amount of calcium and magnesium. For example, Sodium carbonate reacts with calcium sulfate, forming a soluble calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate here is a PBT. So we can remove calcium from, from the water by adding, by adding sodium carbonate. And the same uh, in magnesium. Magnesium sulfate, why PBT is deposited, so we can remove magnesium from water by this method. The method of preparation in the industry. Its, a, it's name is Solvay process. So the process, it means the passing of ammonia gas and the carbon dioxide gas in a concentrated solution of sodium chloride. We have here so ammonia, NH3, carbon dioxide, and ACL H2O. It forms sodium bicarbonate plus NH4Cl, ammonium chloride. By the effect of the NHCO3, sodium bicarbonate, it changes into sodium bicarbonate and the carbon dioxide gas evolves and water is formed also. The properties, why uh, it is a white powder, easily dissolves in water, its solution also has an alkaline effect, 
not affected by heat, not affected by heat, it melts without decomposition, react with acids, and the carbon dioxide gas is evolved, and it is accompanied by effervescence. Effervescence means foron. Uses manufacturing of glass, uh, paper industry, textile industry, textile industry, and water softening. It means removing hardness of wood. Now let's speak about the biochemical role of sodium. It plays an important role in the vital processes. Why? Because it forms a suitable medium for transforming or transferring nutrients like glucose and amino acids. Now, it helps in transferring of nutrients as glucose and amino acids. From natural sources, uh, how can we get so, uh, sodium ions? From natural sources, vegetables, especially celery, uh, shabu, milk, and its products. A biochemical role of potassium, it, it plays an important role in the process of oxidation of glucose inside the cell. So, sodium has important role with outside the cell, while potassium inside the cell, why? To help the burning of uh, glucose. Again, plays an important role in the process of oxidation, means burning of glucose inside the cell, why? To produce energy. Any burning process produces energy, needed for the activity. From natural sources, uh, we can obtain potassium, me uh, meat, milk, eggs, vegetables, and cereals also. Okay? And now we have uh, finished the first part of the chapter 4. Inshallah, we have a new session, inshallah, this morning again. And I'm going to exercise in the how to practice. على الفرض ده شكرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته